This is the Linux kernel video. I'm going to show you how to upgrade the kernel and downgrade the kernel if you need to. It's a very simple process and there's only a few commands you're going to need to know. So let's open up terminal and the first command you need to know is uname-r. This will show us what kernel version is being run on right now. Right. So I'm running on 4.15.0-54 generic. Now you want to take note of this generic right here. This gives us the architect type that we're going to need. So when you upgrade the kernel, you want to get the same architect type so there's no mismatch between the hardware and the software. Okay. Now, once you take note of this, we're going to see if there's any updates that can be done. So the way we search for upgraded kernels or downgraded kernels to install is through apt catch search linux image right that's the command once we click enter it's going to show us a huge list of kernels that we can install from but if you remember when we did uname-r we're looking for the generic version right just the simple one so when you do uh, the search command you can use grep and specify that you only want the generic kernel images right now we have this huge list and let's see we had so if you see here, uh, the current kernel version we have is 4.15.054 generic. There's an upgrade for 55 generic. So let's update to this one right here. So you're going to want to copy its name. right? Now to install the image, just make sure you're in sudo first. Just do a simple apt-get install and the name of the kernel version. Okay. It's going to go through, say yes. It should only take uh, maybe a minute or two. It's, um, it's a pretty quick process. And then once it's done, I'll, I'll cut back once it's done. All right, so the install is done. Now all you want to do is reboot the system. And once you get back in, it should be loaded on the new kernel. So we're back in. Um, we're just going to go back and do a uname-r to ensure that we are in the new kernel. And yes, we are. We have upgraded to 55. Now let's say the kernel was bugging out the computer or lagging it, it's super easy to uninstall and revert back to the old version. There are two ways. One is to actually remove the kernel, which will remove it from the system, and you'll save a little bit of space, not too much. The other way is to just restart the computer. Okay, and once you see your splash screen, just hold shift and you'll get to this screen right here. You want to go to advanced options and you'll see all the kernels we have installed on the computer. Here's 54, which is the one we had, and here's 55. So let's say we want to go back to 54 because it was more stable. You just hit enter and we're going back to 54. Now that we're back in, let's see if we did in fact load 54 and we did. So now every time you reboot the computer, you'll start loading into 54. If you want to go back to 55, just hold shift again and load into 55. So that's how you would downgrade through holding shift and from boot. Now, if you wanted to remove the old, the old kernel, uh, let's say we want to remove 55 to save space on our uh, hard drive, uh, we would go into sudo first. And instead of installing it, we would just want to remove the kernel. All right, so just click enter. Yes. And now that kernel file is gone from the computer and we won't be able to load back into 55. So that's the kernel video. Uh, I hope you know how to upgrade and downgrade the kernel in Linux. There are also GUI ways which I suggest on your own time you look up how to use as it may be an alternate to the terminal if you still can't figure out how to do it.